full disclosure, my mom helped me write this piece. <laughs> um, she's a physician over at Blank Children's Hospital. So the what happened to Scott is close to her heart as well. She, Scott was an average American. He grew up in an American way. He went to work, he paid his taxes. Then he got sick. Not because he smoked, ate too much, slouched on the couch, drank too much or anything else. He just got sick, like millions of Americans do, through no fault of his own. He made a treatment plan with his physicians who were more than willing to provide the care he needed. There was only one catch, the faceless middleman, the insurance company. So many Americans are under the impression doctors decide care. Doctors want payment before they see you. Doctors restrict access. I can tell you firsthand they don't. They, like many of you, spend countless hours on the phone writing letters and lobbying to make insurance companies let them give care. I was also a victim of insurance for the lack thereof. Several years ago, I started having palpitations. It turned out to be atrial fibrillation. I ignored it, not because I didn't want to get better, because I didn't have insurance. I went on for years. It got worse. It turned into heart failure. Lucky for me, I met and married a wonderful man who worked for the state government. Yes, government insurance is the best. That's why our government won't give theirs up. Also lucky for me, my mother is a physician who helped oversee my care. I had open heart surgery costing hundreds of thousands of dollars. Because of these privileges, I survived our healthcare mess in America. Scott could not. You would think I would say I have a happy ending, but things continue to get worse. Now my insurance may be under siege as collective bargaining for government employees goes away. My children will be uncovered and even I wanted to go, uh, wanting to go on to purchase insurance for myself. This administration is decimating the insurance exchanges. Today, I think Scott would want us to not focus on his death, but on his li the life he could have had with reasonable, humane, universal coverage in the country he called home. He would want this to be, for us, a call to action. He would want us to never get tired to never falter until every American has health coverage, the health coverage they deserve. I pledge to Scott to do just that.